Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy. Today I'm talking about area of a circle, and the area of a circle is just the space inside of it, and even though it's round, we use square units when we find the area of a circle. And we use the formula A equals pi R squared, and R squared stands for the radius to the second power, and pi is an approximation. And the figure below um, labels all the important terms associated with the circle, and uh, the main ones that I'm going to be using today are radius and diameter. The circumference we talked about in the last video. And in fact, in the last video, we defined circle, diameter, radius, circumference, pi. So if you need a reminder, please watch that previous video, vocabulary and circumference. For this one, we're going to assume that you already have that. And in order to find the area of a circle, I need two things. I need the diameter or radius. Either one will do. And the reason either one of those will do is because if I have the diameter and I divide by 2, that tells me the radius. And so I just need one of those two and I'll have what I need. And the other thing is an approximation for pi. And a pi is not an exact number. So when we approximate, a very common one is 3.14, but also um, 22 sevenths is another one that we use. If you are told to use a particular approximation and you just use the pi button on your calculator, it will throw it off a little bit because it'll be a different approximation. Pi never ends, so there's no exact number, so everything for that is an approximation. So in these next ones, we're going to find the area of a circle. Um, we're going to give the exact answer and an approximation to the nearest hundredth if we need to round. And then um, we're going to use 3.14 for your approximation for pi. So I just want to first mention what pi is in relationship to the area of a circle. So when you have a square, um, and in this case I drew the squares in here, the radius is 5 meters, but also that means that's 5 in this direction and 5 over here and 5 here. And so what is the area of this square? Well, a square is, is just the length or side times side. So 5 times 5 is 25 meters squared. And notice that I have three of those. And so in, when I have the square, though, I also am making this area outside of the circle. It's not part of the circle, but it is part of the squares that I'm making with the finding with the area there. So those areas, if I was to cut those off and put them in down here, I would cover most of this uh, fourth area here, but not all of it. And so what's the rest of that that we need? And this is not an accurate drawing, but let's say there's some left over after we do that. Well, that's why instead of multiplying, we don't do 3 r squared, we do 3.14 r squared. That 3.14 is the rest of that little piece down here that we would need. So that's where pi comes in for that. So the area equals pi r squared and I'm going to use um, 3.14 for pi, and then we have 5 squared. And that is, um, this is going to be the approximation because I'm actually using that approximate number, right? And 5 squared <clears throat> is 25 times 3.14 is, well, let's just do this first. Let's do the next step here. 5 squared is 25. And then if we multiply that out, I'm going to say it's approximately, because it's not exact, um, 78.5, and then I have meters squared. The exact answer would just be um, the 70, it would be the 25 pi meters squared, because this is the r squared. I didn't approximate pi, I'm saying exactly, I'm going to leave the pi in for the exact answer. The other one is our approximation. So in the next example, we have a diameter of 15, and if I find half of 15, that is 7.5. So I can say the radius here is 7.5 yards. So I want to find the area. Let's do the exact first on this one. I want to say the area is pi times 7.5 squared. <clears throat> and then 7.5 squared is 
and that would be the exact answer with my units, which I want to include, it's yards squared. And then to approximate that, I would go ahead and multiply the 56.25 times 3.14, because again, 3.14 is my approximation, and I'm going to start to use those um, things, 56.25 times 3.14 is 176.63 rounded to the nearest hundredth. So that's the, ex that's the approximation, and this is the exact. Exact means that you have not approximated pi. Okay, the other two examples that I have, the first one is the diameter is 28. If the diameter is 28, half of that would be 14. For an exact answer, I would just take uh, area equals pi times 14 squared, that's the radius, and what is 14 squared? It's 196 pi, and then what's my unit? Well, my unit is inches squared. That's the exact, and now if I want to approximate that, I'll use my approximation symbols, it's 196 times 3.14 that being the approximation. I also could use 22 over 7, but we just were told to use 3.1 in this one. And that gives me 615.44 um, inches squared as an approximation. So what about the next one? Well, the next one, interestingly, is 1.4 as opposed to 14. So maybe you could guess what some of these answers are going to be knowing that we're just changing the decimal point We've just moved it over one place in there. My exact answer is going to be pi times 1.4 squared. And that's going to give me 1.96. So see how it's similar to the last answer of 196. It's going to give me 1.96 pi. And then we have centimeters squared. That's my exact. And my approximation then would be 1.96 times 3.14. You see how we're two decimal places different because it was two dimensional there? And so it's two decimal places different. If I move that over two places, I should see, I should use my approximation symbol there. I should see 6.15 um, centimeters squared. All right, so that's all there is to it for area of a circle. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time.